Medic Surgery and Laser Center. In today's world and with today's ever-growing technology, we all know a picture can be taken anywhere at any time and shared in an instant. We also know that our patients live active lives and we want you to always look your best. So stay tuned as we bring you our series called True Selfies. My side profile, I, it wore me out. I had this lovely Roman, this Roman shape to, to my nose, and I, um, of course, would only come to Dr. Mendelssohn. So I came and visited Dr. Mendelssohn, had a consultation. So I, of course, had 100% faith that he could, that he could uh, do the job. Um, the fears I had was definitely, I watching, you know, The Real Housewives, you watching these TV shows, Dr. 90210, you see them going at it with a hammer, you see the nose opened up, you see these horror, you know, they show you these horror films and you're, you get freaked out. And so I was worried about the pain, about the swelling. I didn't want to have, you know, uh, uh, black eyes. I had a beautiful experience with rhinoplasty from the anesthesiologist to uh, being able to listen to whatever music I wanted to listen to while they were starting the procedure and um, uh, they took great care of me. I had, uh, I followed the rules. So sometimes I'm a rule breaker, but uh, with this, you cannot break the rules. So I followed the rules with, and they're basic. It's, you have to sleep in an incline. So you have to stack pillows behind your head. You, uh, uh, you know, you can't get your face wet. You can't, you know, you can't mess up your splint or that's what's helping keep the shape of the nose. So if you follow those rules, you know, you will have very minimal swelling. I had no bruising. I had maybe a little yellowing, but um, nothing that a foundation couldn't cover up. So, wow. all right, so let's start with the profile. So you can see it's pretty yeah. straight. You've, you've got a lot of swelling from here to here on both sides. So you're not, you're over, within the next three or four days, you'll see a lot of definition creep up on the dorsum. You can see where the tape was? Uh -huh. Can you see the way this sticks out more? Yeah. That's swelling. Okay. I'm telling you that because as time goes on, you're going to question whether or not this is too swollen. It's going to take time for some of this to settle down. Okay. In fact, this, over the next few hours, is going to swell and you're not going to be able to see that discrepancy anymore. Okay, because it kind of fills up. Right, right. Okay. okay, it's just edema. But in, in, in your case, we weren't really, I mean, I know I was dealing with the tip. You were mostly looking at this. Yeah. And that's why I said you can probably see a lot of the result already just from, uh, just, just from uh, the profile. Okay. Yeah, it looks awesome. Okay, I think you'll be happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's really yeah. good. There's an incision down here, and we'll keep cleaning up. Okay, this will heal fine. This is what I've been playing with. That's what was uh, right. the table stuck to that. Yeah. Okay. But uh, and, and maybe right now before you leave, we'll put a little bit of ointment on. But um, you know, a little bit of bruising, uh, obviously moderate amount of swelling, but it, it looks uh, it looks good. Wow. What do you think? I love it. Really good. Well, I'm glad you like it so far. I, I hope uh, as time goes on, I think you'll like it even more. I don't believe I even used a concealer. It was just a lightweight foundation um, to cover up a little under eye. And uh, the um, I was just shocked at the downtime. I mean, there was like hardly no downtime. I think I went shopping the next day or day after. I mean, it's a uh, uh, I would go to a Veda to get my hair washed. Um, that was very nice of them. So, you know, you can't get your face wet. It's hard for me to take a shower or a bath, you know, without getting my face wet. So that you have to make sure you don't get your face wet. You can't mess up your, your splint. Um, and, um, you know, times have changed. They no longer pack you with, uh, you know, all of that cotton. A feed of cotton, I've heard, they pack in there and that eventually has to come out, so it's lovely. You can only imagine how that would feel. So I was, I was worried about those things, and um, Dr. Mendelssohn doesn't do any of that. So there, it's state-of-the-art technology being used. Uh, my, um, from the time I stepped in for the consultation, digital imaging, you know, from the anesthesiologist that they used was superb. It was. Um, five-star service, uh, they made me feel so comfortable. Uh, and then, you know, first I should say, you don't feel anything. So you're out, you're knocked out. 
and you don't feel a thing. I believe they gave me some fun drugs to take beforehand too to make me feel better. So they kind of make you feel calm and cool. They give you that, they prescribe that to you, I believe, a few days before your surgery. So you come in feeling pretty cool, pretty calm, collected. Um, you wake up, right? You will have splints on your nose. Uh, you come out of being put under, right? So you're gonna feel kind of like a zombie. They, what I love is they have a back room that they can walk you out of so you're not walking through the main lobby. So not everyone's staring at you. So very, you know, uh, um, private and um, they think of you. Um, so the healing process was so easy. I went to work within a week later. I probably could have went to work after three or four days. I had very minimal swelling. I had no bruising because I followed the doctor's orders. So, you know, you're supposed to sleep in an incline with pillows under you. Maybe put pillows on the sides of you so that'll prevent you from falling over and, and messing up your nose design. Um, you have to remember this is a brand new nose, so you have to protect it. Um, you know, you can't go play soccer afterwards. Uh, you can't jump on a trampoline. Um, just if you follow basic rules, you will have minimal swelling, minimal bruising. You know, everyone likes to say, I have a deviated septum. So I had a partial deviated septum that he was able to correct and that enabled me to breathe. I was able to, you know, I feel, you know, I, I even sounded different. I talked different. My voice sounded different after I had my nose job because it was not as nasally, as congested sounding. And um, they, you will have some puffiness. I found puffiness to last. Just a little swelling. It's a little inflammation going on and healing. So that seemed to take around six months, I would say, for that to go away. Dr. Mendelssohn tells people it can take a year to two years for your nose to um, have all the swelling completely gone. Mine was gone within a year. Um, and I think I credit that to just taking, you know, extra, extra good care of my, myself and following his orders. And so, yeah, I would do it again. No surgery does not hurt. Um, it's not like you would think it feels that you don't feel anything. So, and it makes a big difference. I love my side profiles. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, selfie what, selfie who, please. Uh, after my new hair surgery and my new rhinoplasty, I am selfie crazy.